Do you want to know how to create the simplest drag and drop interaction that has multiple drop targets? However, no one can be told what the solution is. You have to see it for yourself. Hey there, my name is Nates and if you need some help with your storyline project, jump over to storyaudit.eu and I'll help you out. Now we're talking about drag and drop interaction with multiple drop targets. I have a green apple here and the drop targets green, apple and red and these two are correct. Now when you convert to freeform, when you select the drop target, so apple green, you can select only one drop target. So, so this was always a tricky thing to do by hand, you know, you would select the drop target here, um, not, not, you know, associated with this uh, apple, then you would track it by variables and things like that, and it could get quite complicated. Now with this solution, what you can do, you go back to the slide and you select these two items and you say, group now 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 you can select the group as the correct drop item target and the red as the like non associated for now but it's meant as a correct item uh, incorrect item as the wrong one however there are some limitation with this approach limitations because this is a group uh, Storyline almost treats it as one object. So in the drag and drop options, we cannot stack. So we have to say free. They can drop it anywhere inside the object. And we can say also return item to start point if it's dropped outside of any drop target. This works fine. And I'm not going to delay. Yes, I'm. No, I'm not going to delay it so we can see immediately what's happening with the with our object here. Uh, so let's preview. So if I drop it in the in the red, it's it, this is incorrect, you know, jumps back. So dropping it outside of the target works. Even if I drop it in between, it works. If I go to the apple, it's drop correct. Here drops, it comes back, jumps back. Here it's green, it's again drop correct. So this works fine, it's, it's totally easy, but of course there are some limitations. You cannot have it snap to the center. I tried some options, but they're so complicated, I don't think it's worth, because uh, you cannot just add a trigger to have the motion path jump here if it's dropped on green because it doesn't register that. So I tried a bunch of things, nothing work worth discussing here, as, is, I'll just say it's too complicated. But in essence, this simple approach works great. Of course, again, you are limited. This is a group that only combines green and apple. You cannot have another group that combines apple and red to include another object that would go into those two positions. I tried again with some things. It's it's too complicated. I have some more ideas uh, that I'll maybe explore later, but in essence, you are a bit limited in this approach. However, it can still save you time if you know about this trick. So there you go, super simple thing. Groups are a powerful thing to uh, use in your projects. They can handle many things, uh, you know, make things easier and, uh, you know, try to use them with drag and drop interaction like this. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.